Hey, and this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com coming to you live from Thailand in my pickup. I love doing these presentations from my vehicle. This is a really good way to witness the world. You've got wheels, you've got windows, you can drive around and see things. Really recommend that you go out and pay attention to what's going on around you. Witness the world. Don't miss anything. There's so much interesting people. I love people watching. I love checking out nature. I love shopping centres. I love everything really. There's so much to see and yet quite often you just get up and plonk yourself in front of the TV. So many kids just plonk themselves in front of uh, video games and although I go on my tablet quite a lot because it's how I earn my living, you can't beat just checking out the world. We live in a wonderful universe doesn't feel that wonderful at the moment to me and feelings come and go and feelings are dictated by your mindset but um, I've got to be honest with you the last couple of days have been quite challenging uh, since Christmas Christmas was interesting first time I've ever been away from home away from my children got this new place in Thailand now which doesn't feel like home at the moment although I like the place um, and I just had to get my head round that. I had to shift my thinking to stop myself getting quite emotional and homesick and missing my kids and my grandkids and everything that was familiar to me. And even though I've got something very exciting here, it's very easy to just miss it because you're in your head. And if you're in your head, then you switch off the outside world and you block all the pleasures that your five senses can bring to you. You could be looking at something good, hearing something good, feeling something good, tasting, smelling, experiencing something good. But um, if you don't feel so good in your head, if you don't want to be there as such, then you won't absorb any of those pleasures. You'll miss it. You don't witness it. You just detach from it. Today, I'm glad to say, just to end that sentence, that I did get my head round it. I did get a grip using all the techniques that I teach and preach and um, managed to have a very interesting Christmas, a different one from any other year of my life, but nevertheless part of my growth to experience the Thailand Christmas, to experience being away from things that are familiar to me and for me and to actually learn to cope with that. In fact, to do better than cope, to actually creatively make something of that and learn from it and uh, and grow from it. I'm growing from something else today because moving to Thailand, we're actually looking after um, Chayar's nephew's dog. That's a beautiful Thai pit bull terrier. Pit bulls have got um, a bad reputation, but I had a Staffordshire bull terrier. Beautiful dog, Roxy, for 17 years the most gentle, intelligent, friendly dog you could ever want to own. And similarly, uh, this dog, Uan, it's called Uan, um, has been an absolute pleasure to know for the last sort of 10 weeks while I've been in Thailand. But it got a kidney infection, which actually pointed out that the dog had had kidney disease for a number of years that hadn't been picked up. When the vet noticed it, um, uh, we've had treatments and foods and health regimes for the dog. Um, but today I've got up and the dog looks terrible. Won't walk, won't eat, won't drink. Um, looking very down in the dumps and uh, being sick. So left it for the most part of today. And here we are now at the vets. Um, it's very, very possible that the dog which I'm, I've grown to love and like and enjoy, it's going to be put down. And I'm just witnessing how I feel about that and witnessing really what that means and all these cars that you can see moving around me on this warm, rainy day in Thailand are other pet owners, probably dog owners, who are concerned about their animals. We get attached to these things, don't we? We have a desire to express love and to be loved and animals, dogs, 
you will probably have an experience of other types of animals, cats maybe, horses. Um, love you unconditionally. They don't judge you. They respect you. They wait for you. They just want affection from you and they give affection to you. Um, they become a member of the family. Sometimes for some people, and certainly for me, um, you get very close to them. I had my Roxy for 17 years. Um, she's seen a lot of my life and I've experienced uh, all sorts of things with her. She passed about three years ago. That was um, sad. And today I expect another day like that. I haven't got as close to this dog, but certainly other members of the family have. And um, in witnessing that, and having that upset round me, it has an effect on me. Now I don't want this to be a miserable video cast, but you can witness these things uh, and things greater than just the loss of pets, the bereavement of people. And I know people at the moment who are in hospital, possibly not gonna come out, elderly people who are at the end of life and those families are deeply concerned for those people. They will let them go. They have no choice and they will come to terms with it having gone through the upset and the anger and the frustration and the grief and then this acceptance. I think acceptance has got to be the lesson in all of this. Accepting what is and not resisting it because what is is and Buddha teaches us that it's our resistance to what is that gives us our suffering that we witness it and learn to quickly accept it. We always want something better. We hope for something better. And if you understand manifestation as I teach, you'll have techniques to create something better. But what is is, and what the universe gives you to learn from, you've got to accept that, take the learning and move on. Today's one of those days. The Christmas that we've just experienced two or three days ago in the UK and in Thailand is another one of those experiences from me and whenever you're watching this whatever month whatever year there'll be something going on in your life or you'll be able to witness the people that you know who will have something going on that they've got to cope with you can help them accept it by loving them if it's going on for you you can love yourself take the learning from these situations acceptance allows you to get through if you resist what's going on, if you spit your dummy out, lose the plot, lose your balance, try to run from it, try to fight it, freeze because of it, then you won't grow and you'll make yourself ill. You can literally, with bereavement of other people, lost, lack, suffering, make yourself sick to death. Pay attention to yourself, look after your health, witness what you're eating, witness what, how you're sleeping, witness how you're behaving, because these are all indicators of your ability to go with the flow. And if you're not going with the flow, if you're not accepting, if you're resisting, then you will deteriorate. Leaving this on a positive note, I'm very much looking forward to helping the family with the loss of this dog, particularly um, a little boy whose dog it is who who lives with me and also just coping myself with my new life situation even though it's something I've created I've created it to learn from and grow from and sometimes learning growing change is a challenge and challenge and change can be uncomfortable I teach mindfulness. I'm very mindful now with all these experiences exactly of my strengths and my weaknesses and my vulnerabilities. And again, that learning assists me to understand myself, to accept myself. So whatever's going on for you, understand it, accept it. And if I can help you, not that this is a promotion, but I'm here to talk to anybody freely. So I'll sign off now witnessing what's going on at the moment at Christmas or just after between Christmas and New Year. Paying attention to people and behaviours and particularly pets at the moment 
and um, God bless you accept the gift of life with all its ups and downs and um, take the good survive and be a winner of the bad or the challenging and uh, go with the flow God bless, bye for now